Hey guys, today's going to be a very, um, a very somber video for me, because I'm going to be talking about something that I very rarely, very rarely talk about, and that is personal loss. Um... Over the weekend, I received not one, not two, but three messages that some of my old squaddies had passed away. One of them took their own life, um, and the other two were just, is what it is, kind of thing. Um, so I'm looking at a picture of my boys. <laughs> I call them my boys, but I'm showing a picture. Well, I'm looking at a picture. It's my wallpaper on my computer. And, um, it's had an adverse effect of making me quite uh, emotional. pictures do, as pictures should. It just... After a while you become desensitized to the loss. And, um, after a while, you just <sighs> after a while, when the memories fade. And all you've got after a while when the memories fade and all you've got that's me right there and the X is all the people who are not in my unit or not alive anymore And of course it feckin' deletes my webcam first, even though I told it not to, it does it anyway, because F my life, I'm gonna leave that in, don't care. Um, so yeah, that was me and my old unit, yeah, so... Third RTR Raw Tank Regiment. Well, I'm not gonna let that loss slow me down, derail me, things of that nature. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna let it. In fact, I'm going to tell you people a fun little fact. And that fun little fact is this. No one lives forever. Stop taking things for granted. Stop saying to yourself, 
Uh, case in point, if your grandma doesn't live with you, or your grandparents don't live with you, or your mum or your dad or your siblings don't live with you, and you say to yourself, I'll see him next week, I'll see him next week, I'll see him next week, I'll see him next week. Eventually, those next weeks are going to run out. And all you're going to have is excuses as to why you never went to go see them. This is why on the 22nd I'm getting a train to Cambridge and I'm going to surprise my mum. That'll be fun. Surprise my mum. That would be fun. It really will. Me and my mum don't have a strong bond or a even heck of a strong relationship, we just don't. Um, don't get me wrong, I love my mother. I do. Every boy loves their mother. On some level, in some way. Of course, there's going to be the occasional one person who says, Oh, no, I don't love my mother. I've never loved my mother. Yada, yada, yada. Because I used to be that person. And for quite a time in my life, I had a lot of Good morning. poison. It's Monday, the 13th. Computer. It's seven Computer. Seven. Skip. Sorry, I'm not sure. Sorry about that. <clears throat> and so, for the longest time, me and my mum never really um, connected, bonded, so eye to eye on a lot of subjects, a lot of reasons. Um, she thinks it's because my younger brother was born. Um, it goes a lot deeper than that and I'm not ready to unpack that especially for a YouTube video no 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 um, nowhere near ready to unpack that for a YouTube video someone asked me um, on a, U was it a YouTube live stream or a rumble live stream I can't remember one of them asked me about the origins of this ring And where can they uh, find it? You can't find it. Okay, here, I'll leave it there so you can take a screenshot. You cannot find it. This ring is a one-off custom sculpt, if you can't tell by the unasymmetrical to the ring. It's not symmetrical. Most rings are symmetrical. They are, case in point. Hang up. This ring is symmetrical. The eyes are symmetrical. The jawline, everything is symmetrical. Okay? Symmetrical, asymmetrical, i.e. not symmetrical. The horns are different, different size, the cheeks, chin, everything. Because it was hand sculpted by a friend of mine. He was no longer here. In fact, it was my ex-girlfriend. She sculpted that for me for my 15th birthday. She gave it to me on my 15th birthday. And that was the same birthday that I decided to move out of my mum's house and live life on the streets if need be. It would have been a lot more beneficial for me than to be living in a house with my mother. That's the only background I'm going to give you on that. But her name was Delena. She was an art, I can say major because we was in secondary school, but she enjoyed jewellery, jewellery making. She would make silly things out of like the pop tops of, of Coke cans and stuff and whatnot. And 
I remember this one time she made a small little tiny bouquet of flowers out of the bread twists. <laughs> and she borrowed a lighter to melt some of the plastic. <laughs> it smelled hor horrible, but it looked amazing. And then one day she said she'd, had a su she'd have a surprise for me on my birthday. And all of my boy mates were like, Oh, you're going to get some tonight, mate. <laughs> Our, me and Delana's relationship was never sexual. The most we ever did was hold hands, or I'd kiss her on the cheek, or she'd kiss me on the cheek. We didn't even kiss properly. Um, but I did love her. Still do. This is why I wear this ring non-stop. And... She made a hand sculpted clay buck mold of this. And this is white metal. Um, pure, not, I don't think it's pewter, but it's white metal. It's a form of white metal. But she melted down in art, art, art school, in the art department. She melted it down. She poured it into the mold. It had a horrible stink, but she poured it in the mold. And, um, wait for it to cool and she got the size wrong it didn't fit my finger but uh, eventually as you can see the ring is the back of the ring has been cut so it can stretch to go over my fingers and I've yet to find a jeweler I trust to repair this ring this ring has been with me Trying to figure out how many continents. Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, South Africa, America. Well, England, obviously. Um, Japan. Hong Kong. Croatia. I've been a lot of places. Um, the only place I haven't really been is Canada. Um, Bolivia. Budapest. So I've been a minimum of 10 places with this ring. And everywhere I've gone, someone's either tried to steal it, or take it away from me. And when I asked Elena why did she make it into a demon face, I bear in mind back then I was a bit goffy, I had black fingernail, I still occasionally will put black fingernail polish on. But um, she said, we all hide a demon within us. You, Danny. You don't. You put yours on display. You let the world know you're a person not to be fucked around with. You let people know that you are the type of person who does not respond well to idle threats. And most importantly, and this is where she had me, <laughs> your demon won't allow you to let your friends and your family be hurt. In many ways, your demon is your angel. And that's when I knew I loved her. And yes, I did tell her that I loved her. And if she hadn't a past of sickle cell anemia, we'd probably be, be together.
she didn't even make her graduating year, which was the following year, 1996. Her sickle cell anemia got so bad that uh, it took her life. No amount of love or patience can fight your own genetics. But I want you guys to understand something. If you truly love someone, I mean, crazily love someone. Do yourself and the world a favour. Don't fight it. Don't hide it. Don't deny it. Embrace it. And in the embracing of that love, Make sure not to let it define you. Because that's what a lot of people fail to understand, is letting it define you. And I try my best. I do. I try my best every day. To let the people know, the people in question who I love the most, I try my best to let them know I try my best to let them know how much I love them and what they mean to me. And I hope deep down that they know, they feel it, they love it, and they respect it. Because at the end of the day, who wouldn't want to feel loved? Who wouldn't want to hear the words, I love you? I am proud of you. I cherish you. I value your time your energy, your effort. Who doesn't? Who, who, who doesn't want to hear that? I know I sure would. If some of my friends started saying that to me more, I would feel a lot more appreciative. A lot more appreciative. And that's the one thing you need to take away from this lesson today is be appreciative for the things that you have, let alone the things that you don't. Now normally the video will be done when the coffee's done, but I waffled on a little bit and the video's gone for way too long. So I'm going to video, end the video here with a uh, be appreciative for the things you have. And uh, salute to you, and I hope you have a good day. And I'll see you.